here at NOLA.com. Um, I think that first quarter, you were on the floor for more than 10 minutes, 33 minutes total. Just how good did it feel to be out there for extended stretches? Uh, I felt great to be out there for extended stretches. Um, you know, I haven't played, I don't think I've played that many minutes in two and a half years. So it was a great feeling to experience that again. What's up, Zion? This is Will Guillory from The Athletic. Uh, the two parts of your game that Stan brought up when we talked to him were the uh, defensive rebounds and the free throws. He thought you really excelled in those two areas. So how important are those two parts of your game going to be uh, uh, for you to have a successful season and kind of take that next step? Um, I mean, I think those are going to be two big parts. Uh, obviously, the defensive board so I can push the, push the break faster, get my teams involved, teammates involved. And the free throws because, you know, I feel like I'm going to get fouled a lot and, you know, free throws. It's free money. I got to make that count. Zion, it's uh, Andrew from from ESPN. On those free throws, he mentioned your work with uh, with Fred Vincent. Uh, how, how much work did you put in with Fred, and how much how much time have you really been putting in uh, on on you know trying to trying to get that better? Well, me and Coach Vincent have been putting in a lot of work uh, every day at practice, just free throws, working on the jumper, just working on everything, uh, involving my shot, and that's been really helpful up to this point. And one more, if I could, uh, how much did, did having uh, Steven Adams down there kind of help you uh, on, on, the, on the defensive glass, having somebody who was going to draw, you know, that much attention to kind of free some things up for you? I think it's great that, I, uh, that we have Steven this year. Uh, you know, it's only one game. Um, I don't want to sit here and say something when, you know, the NBA, there's a lot of smart teams out there. You know, they might make adjustments. So, you know, tonight for the first – for the first game, it was great having Steven out there. Uh, you know, he does draw a lot of attention, and hopefully he can stay like that for the whole season. Zion, this is Ali Cusso with the Bird Rights. What were your first impressions of both the offense and the defense? Because defensively, you guys held them to, what, 92 points, and offensively, you caught the ball a lot more on the move tonight. Um, something new. Uh, that's all it is to it. Uh, something new and just uh, as a team, we got to – we get used to that. That was our first time playing against other people for the first time. So I think we did all right. Uh, we have a lot of room to improve. And, you know, Coach Gunny is our coach. We have the proper guidance. Hey, Zion, this is Jim from Pelicans.com. I was wondering what your, uh, your thoughts were, your assessment of what Brandon Ingram did defensively tonight. It just seemed like he was all over the place. Yeah, Brandon um, played really great on the defensive end and, of course, on the offensive end. Uh, Brandon just has really long arms, so uh, even if you feel like he's a step behind when you're making a pass, uh, he's able to use his length and get out there and, you know, get a deflection. So he's really gotten great at using his body and using his length. So Brandon's really great. Hey, Zion, uh, Christian Clark, one more time. Uh, what was it just like, uh, you know, being with Stan kind of in the huddles and, and having him guys uh, instruct you in a real game for the first time. Sorry, what was the last part of that question? Just uh, what was it like getting to work with Stan in a, a real live game situation for the first time? Oh, for the first time, it was great, obviously. Uh, you know, he coached us through everything. Um, you know, he's a great guy. I feel like he's a great coach as well. And um, I feel like we're going to learn a lot from him this year. Will, back to you. What's up, Zion? This is uh, Will again from The Athletic. I know we asked you a, a lot last year about learning how to play off of BI and working together. What, what do you think about just uh, what y how y'all did uh, tonight and just what do you think about that poster he caught in the second quarter? Uh, you said how the poster in the second quarter and learning to play off BI? Yeah. Oh, well, I feel like tonight we did okay. I think me and him have a lot of room for improvement on uh, – playing off each other and learning each other's game still. Cause that was the first time in months that we've played together in a real game situation. So I think we had a lot of room for improvement. And the poster, I mean, that was different. He, he rose up and he finished. That was a strong finish. So, you know, we expect that from BI. You know, we expect stuff like that from him. And I know we, Zion, you kind of talked about it uh, a little bit earlier, but uh, how, how happy were you to be able to sit uh, that, that the start of the fourth and then go back and be able to finish uh, the game like that after kind of everything? Uh, it was a different feeling. I can't even lie. It was a different feeling for sure. Uh, I think I was only able to finish the game like 
three, maybe four times last year. Uh, but it was a great feeling because, uh, you know, when the clock ran out, when the clock struck zero, I was, I was almost like, wow, like, <laughs> it's been a while. And then, you know, after the game, they saying I played 33 minutes. Uh, and that's why I play basketball, you know, to, to play a lot of minutes and to help my team win. Zion, this is Fletcher with NBC New Orleans. Um, obviously, you've become friends and close with Nikhil since you all were in the same draft class. Just your thoughts on what he did tonight. It's just one preseason game, but obviously he, he had a, a, a pretty solid night. And maybe even the growth you've seen, like yourself, from year one to year two in him. I think with Nikhil, uh, his, biggest, his biggest change from last year to this year is confidence. You know, he doesn't get down on himself as much, uh, you know. And as teammates this year, we're a lot better with telling him, hey, man, that's what you do, man. Like, you shoot that shot, we behind you with it. Like, we support you shooting that shot. So I think uh, the biggest thing with him was confidence. And, you know, this year with the group of guys we have and, you know, Coach Gundy telling him to shoot, I think he's going to be just fine this year. Great. Thanks a lot, Z. No problem.